All right. Music for a bit. Uh, are we live? can't see anything. Oh, wait. yeah, I see it now. It's hard to see because of that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> welcome back to uh, Star Wars The Knights of the Old Republic. If you missed last stream, I was trying to get this to work. I uh, kept it freezing on OBS, but now I think I fixed it. And plus, it's a white. I um, fixed the screen so there's no black screen because apparently you can either fit the screen up in edit or view, and it will do that. Although, Anytime I tried with the uh, stretch and other TVs, it's like, it just kind of stretches it out and then it looks kind of weird, but right now it looks fine. So anyway, we're going to try this again and uh, see what happens. And hopefully it does not decide to freeze an OBS and then freeze on there. Uh. Uh, I got a big character's head. It's like so much, so much picking of traits when you try to do a custom character. Uh, we want charisma up, strength up, and constitution. Oops, I should have done more intelligence, god damn it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Treat injury as always. Two into persuasion, one into security, and that's lucky. And feet, yeah, we got all that. And I want that one first, so that way every time I level up, I am set and ready to go. Uh, name. I hate this part. <laughs> Try to name someone. Yes. I think I'll stick with the default names. <clears throat> Cause I'm too lazy to come up with a name, ready to go. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. It's on display capture, so it seems to be better on display capture than it is on, uh, than it is on, um, um, game capture. Cause for some reason with game capture, it always slightly freezes. I don't know why. Do I even? Do I even dare? Uh, it's still there, but I'm just deciding to do a new character since I have that one on private because of the whole uh, other things. And plus, this way at least you get to see the cutscenes because now I have it on display capture since display capture will capture the uh, movie scenes that game capture does not. So, eh, beats me. I mean, we always question why Star Wars names were so random. Darth Burrito. <laughs> no, you already got your chance last time. Police, we can so much. Am I Greg? Talon Window, coolest name ever. Then Chief Burrito. <laughs> Fine. We'll do that. Well, that's Chef Burrito. Little Chief Burrito. It's better. I am Chief of the Burritos now.
Yeah, it is weird. Up, oh, it's freezing again. God damn it. Slightly cutting out. We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. I'm Trask Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite ships. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up! We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Bastil is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I've heard all about your reputation. Elite combat training, tops in your class. It's no wonder you were handpicked for this mission. Word is the officers haven't seen a recruit with your kind of potential in 20 years. But all that potential doesn't mean a thing if you can't deliver when it counts. We're soldiers. We're trained for combat. So hurry up and... Yeah. And now I want to fix the whole... Uh, graphical issues of what the fuck is going on. Nope. Okay. So is it? So is it V-Sync? That's a no beat. It. God damn it! I got the screen fixed, but yet now it's giving me this whole stupid shit. What the fuck? <laughs> uh. I guess I can't capture. Come on, we have to hurry. What the the fuck? Sith might already be boarding the ship to try and capture Bastila. Put your equipment on so we can get out of here. It does? Uh, on OBS, it doesn't look as um, good because it keeps on uh, lagging. And now it looks like the. Uh, the. Um, on my end, it looked like it froze. Yeah, it's being weird right now. I don't think my monitor can get 30, 30 frames per second. Oh, God. Hmm. And the easiest solution for this, uh, save. Easy solution. Exit game and then come back in. Uh. Yes, I know. What's up, bro? Uh. 
Okay, that fixed that. Uh, where is it? There it is. <clears throat> Use the equip screen to equip the. Use the mouse to look through your. Left click the mouse to select an. Alright, that's good. <laughs> you just woke up. Set! I woke up like about an hour or two ago. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. Ah. <laughs> oh. Should be fixed this is now, Nassim. so... The Sith I think we'll are threatening fine. to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spires crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. All right. I'm gonna access my journal. No problem. Got it. Oh yeah. It is. I already uh, uh, downloaded Halo Five on the Xbox. The advanced but boarding party to, uh, for the Republic. This reminds me of Paranormal Activity. <laughs> How does it remind you of Paranormal Activity? <laughs> I've got a feeling that won't be our last battle with the Sith. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use one now before our next battle. <laughs> okay. I'm not stuck anymore. Thank you, Beasting. Nope. Oh. Try again. With all these questions, man. Med pack. Uh, anyway, else got any juicy things for me? It's a 
Dark Jedi! This fight is too much for us! We better stay back! All we do is get in the way! That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. Am I eating the cow? Is the cow my friend? What is the point of this question? Give me a tough choice there, mate. Burrito or dogs? <laughs> what is with all these questions, man? Uh, your mind is seriously playing tricks on you. Hey! Master was not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. What are, what are these questions, man? Persuasion, or is that? I guess that one. Oh, wait. Yeah, there it is. Get that one to see the combat skill. There's only a question of reading. <laughs> Behind here. Damn, another dark Jedi. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go. And he dies. This is Carthal Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. Sorry, I was drinking water, guards. <laughs> uh, being hydrated is more important than escaping the ship, apparently. <laughs> Hey, Dark Jedi. Hey. A man can dream. Oh, seriously, I'm asking for that sister. Now, if he has a viral blade, he's fine. If he doesn't have a viral blade, then he's fucked. Because I think the viral blade is the only thing that can uh, actually stand up to the lightsaber. Be careful. There's a whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you, if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith. True, true, true. Uh, you guys have nothing for me to loot, so I'll just kill your compatriots in the next room. Ah! 
Logging out. Item lost. Money! No money! A frag grenade. Iron grenade and mid pack, and he has nothing. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. Basil's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on, there'll be time for questions later. All right, into the escape pod and disappear forever. Money. Money over there, money over here, money everywhere! And then cutscene. Hangover that I have last night. <laughs> Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever gonna wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? <laughs> what dreams I see. I'm not surprised. <laughs> you took a serious blow to the head. You're probably having all kinds of strange dreams. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. How many is a couple of days, Karth? <laughs> At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site and all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith Maybe control. Their mm. fleet is orbiting the planet. They've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. Uh. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endar Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Basila's gonna need her help. Many of Darth Malak's followers have mastered the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. I doubt anyone's specifically looking for us anymore. We're not that important, but if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Basila won't. <laughs> She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how vital she is to the war effort. Basil is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Basil's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Basil can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. And often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. But there are limits to what she can do. From what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she probably never even had a chance to use her power. I'm guessing she barely got out alive, and now she's trapped here just as we are. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Basil's going to escape Terrace, she's going to need our help, and we'll probably need hers.
Oh, good. We're gonna need to work together if we're gonna survive. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the Upper City. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. Can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're they're looking for Bastila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. Right, gonna go find Bastila, but first, let's eat stuff. And uh, he's in the workbench, I guess. And the only thing I can create is this, right? Play it slow. So apparently, other viral blades don't work that way. Every time you leave an apartment, you will need a party member with you because you, because you're a big old baby and you can't be supervised. Uh, you have to be supervised every five minutes. Why is there? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. You're bad shot, man. You missed one shot after you got the second shot. That's how we uh. sit deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! I'm so surprised how he came to that 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 uh the dust <laughs> immediately right there. There's humans! Uh. Oh hey, another level. <laughs> Yalamoinka <laughs> It's in the subtitles. Don't look really hard, cause, uh, I see they're a little annoying to fucking read. <laughs> but uh, I'll say it out after this. Uh, anytime we run into an alien, I'll try to speak the lines. Skeets. Um. Zite harugiwa, but uga guga to lukiwa. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, lines about that. <clears throat> I don't know. I noticed with the game that the uh, aliens will always say. Oh, I'm stuck? Okay, never mind. Are say almost the same exact lines to each other for some reason. I don't know why. Even though they're. No uh, sure, totally have different meanings. Got it. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. Yes, I can. <laughs> That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. Yes, I can. At least you're more polite than that pig Holden. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But that all he got for his trouble was a nasty easy. scar from my <laughs> vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. <clears throat> no, I don't think so. I can't afford to trust anybody right now. Please, just leave me alone. Okay. 
I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Just one of the... I, I don't want to talk about... Well, I... Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. <laughs> yeah. He went and put out a bounty on me. I didn't realize they succeeded. Did. That's why I'm hiding out here. She's such a pushy. <laughs> uh, why is there even a bounty on your head? Oh yeah, that's right, for uh, beating the shit out of the guy. Um, do I even want to collect that bounty? Doesn't seem like a really... <sighs> nice bounty. Ah, fuck it. I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. I could, but... Eh. It's just not as fun. That's the issue that I have with the dark side. It always seems to be like more mindless killing rather than anything else. Hmm. Although... If I kill her, I would only get like probably a hundred credits, and plus I have to go to the Undercity. If I kill Holden, I could get more money. Hmm. I'm just thinking out loud, man. Jeez. I don't remember what I did the last time, though. Such a hard trouble to debate on this. I mean, I don't mind collecting bounties, but this is just too easy of a fucking bounty. It's the part that annoys me. I don't know, I think being dark side is having less killing and more fun for me. More of a challenge rather than being a little freaking uh, coward. You know what? No, nah, I nah, I'm not gonna kill. Him. God damn it! <laughs> I would kill Holden instead in their place, cause that'd be more fun and more of a challenge. And what the audio just cut. Oh wait, never mind. I don't like too much of an easy thing. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darwin. So many choices. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with Everyone will yell at you for a choice. Still, I appreciate the offer. Goodbye and good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. Oh, I really talk some sense into him. More ways than one. I never did. I'm just more of a logical person rather than being up and down. You malita kuto tun. Chila mula ne ni du bobo. Wonga kumbis chang ba mulira. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wana kumbi. You're a Jedi. <laughs> relax, relax. My choices will always. I'm, I'm more of in between rather than being on both sides. We eat a man What are you, ma? 
Tam Boragatong Mulira Better than letting them sit and flee, I guess, otherwise you get squandered and people hiding out from the authorities live in the abandoned apartments and they don't pay rent! Eh, uh, fingers. No problem, just setting up and just step up and, and have a peek. Have a real nice peek. Uh, I'm looking for this. I only have 40 goddamn credits. God damn it. I will sell you clothes, which are 13... Zero dollars a piece. God damn it. <sighs> um, I don't know why a blaster rifle goes for so much. How much is a frag? 32! I saw some of those. And go to the buy list and... They went to shield. I only get five uses for it, right? I forgot the shields only give you five usage. Oops. Hey, pleasure doing business with you, mate. No problem. What's behind door number two? A Twi'lek. Kudu, Tony Rama na praka donko searcha chupa panki. Do you even have anything in the bag? Thank you. <laughs> I'm just surprised how many people are like, meh. Take whatever you want. No one even bothers to put in a fight somewhere. Hmm. No problem. Got it. An Ithorian. Alright, what's in the bag? My money. Thank you. General entry update. Something seems to be bothering Karth. Maybe you should ask him. Joe, maybe you should ask him. What's wrong with him? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you two will get along perfectly fine. Yes, what's in your mind? Terrace? The planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. And things have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. And it gets worse the lower you go. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate. Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. See more of a shooting I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My homeworld was one of the first planets to fall to Malik's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop it. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That, that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. No, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I... I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense. Either. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Alright, hey, sure thing. I'll ask all the questions later. Problem. You're not gonna mind me. Didn't oh, work. Get it. No problem. <laughs> Didn't work. Uh huh. Garth, you deal with this. On it. 
down. Yes? Never mind. I cannot open door. I turn up. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kepler Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top notch. Might as well stuff. be a swap meet. The oh, fuck, swap meet. Yeah. Security spec: a hundred credits per each. Ouch. I'm poor, lady. Don't you have any dignity for the poor people? Huh. Double bladed sword. Hmm. Only for sixty dollars with a double hit. Sit sniper rifle. What is the difference between that and the blaster rifle? More range, I think, and an attack modifier by one. Now they have the both same range. That's weird. And that's one thousand five hundred credits. Jesus, I don't even know where you got that. And then a bunch of grenades. All right, I'm done here. I can't buy anything. Oh, I can't move and look up and look left or right. Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside if you know what's good for you. Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits. A down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? <laughs> no, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we can just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. <sighs> well, we've been off combat heavy. Don't help me. Yeah, I'm just correcting the matter. How'd you like that? I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. You just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. Are you joking? We don't need this guy's credits. Just go on. We were happy to help. I'm getting out of here before any more of David Cairns show up. <laughs> you should do the same. We need money, Karth. Uh, I guess that makes up for it. Yeah, that makes up for it. 100 credits. There you go. Violence is always the answer, Joe. <laughs> Helping people gives you more credits for some efficient reason. I don't know why. Alright, but what's behind these doors? Two apartments. Northern apartments. Or upper level apartments, I'd say. Alright, so what's behind door number one? 
Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please, I don't want to die. Here, I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. Here, take the credits. But please, just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding. He'll kill me if he finds me. I know we might need credits, but there's got to be a better way to get them than this. Maybe, but... As you said, Karth, we don't need to draw attention to ourselves, but... Eh, really you want to draw attention to yourself. And there. Just move along. There's nothing to see here. Where did you hide those Sith uniforms? Did you sell them to the Terizian underground? Start talking. I want answers. He offered you. He endured it out. And was he good? And he behind all of the When now for the Dufka? Gloria. You're a little too curious for your own good, civilian. This doesn't concern you. I know all about Sith interrogations. This isn't going to end well. I'm getting sick of your lies, you alien scum. We've got your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh-oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour to clean the bloodstains from my uniform after the last interrogation. God damn. Who said that? What's going on out there? Just stay out of this if you know what's good for you. Well, but I need information, and this guy has seems to have a uniform. Know where uniforms are. I think that might come in handy later. What was that? Did I hear you right? Let us kill him? How can you stop us? Time to teach the civilian the penalty for defying the Sith. Well, uh, technically you guys are just a bunch of guys in suits, so... I wouldn't consider you guys sit. Thank you, human. The Sith would have killed me of that I'm certain. I don't know who you are, but it's clear you're a friend of No friend of the Sith. Among my people, there is saying that the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Like you, I hate the Sith. That is why I stole the Sith uniforms from the hidden base. They fake Sith imposters. In the lower city, there are some who do not bow to the conquerors. Swoop gangs like the hidden Vex are gathering resources to one day strike against the Sith oppressors. If you wish to strike up another blow against the Sith, you would be wise to journey into the lower city and speak with Ganon Trek, the leader of the Hidden Bex. Can I get a uniform off of you right now? I'm sorry, but all the uniforms I had were given to the Hidden Bex. I suppose you could take a uniform from the bodies of the Sith soldiers in the room if you wanted. Kill him, hate the Sith. I will cool him for Thanksgiving? What? What the? Are you talking about cooking him or cool him? What the fuck? <laughs> Access to the lower city is restricted. I have never met Ganon. My only dealings were with the members of the gang. Alright. There you go. As should I. The Sith know my face. I must find somewhere to hide on this world. Thank you again, human. Right, thank you. Because I think I get a free Sith uniform. 
300 XP. <laughs> Might just do every single quest just to get more XP. <laughs> Feels like you have to do it that way. Uh, so, Sith Armor. Does this actually give me any bonus? No. Excuse me, Lord. I mean, Alien Turkey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, am I right? I get decreased by two defense. Although I get a max dexterity bonus of eight compared to five. For lower defense bonus. And I look like a goddamn idiot. What the fuck am I? <laughs> what the fuck? Goddamn plastic suit walking around with black tights. <laughs> Anything in here? No? Okay. No. No problem. Anything in Got here? Uh, just the family, right? Oh, I'm gonna steal your stuff. Don't mind me. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Protocol droid. Now, I'm out of curiosity. Will you guys say anything to me? Nothing more boring than being out on patrol. Oh, I guess I shouldn't complain. <laughs> exactly what I said. Uh. Ooh, hey, look at this. It's the shift. <laughs> Oh no! I'm so scared! <laughs> Technically, I'm a guy in uniform. Don't do anything stupid. We don't have no trouble with the Sith. Oh yeah! You're right. <laughs> Sorry about this, shitty. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. Hmm. i never seen that before. Huh. So this actually changes some of the dialogue. Huh. What would this man say? Greetings, my Sith friends. Rest assured, I have all the proper permits to be here, spreading my message. Feel free to stay and listen if you wish. You'll find my message most enlightening. Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. I'm taking off the uniform because goddammit, this is stupid. <laughs> my warning before it no one magically saw me take off the clothes, right? I'm good. Kipuna. <laughs> They don't like aliens here in the open terrace. They tolerate us Twi'leks, but they rather not see us as dancers in the cantina than a successful business. You'd think people would be a little more tolerant of others in this day and age. I guess stupidity and ignorance will never go out of style. Nope, they never will. You see a few aliens around here, but most of the non-humans stick to the lower city. I learned not to dwell on it. So, I try to stay focused on running my store. My selection is a bit limited right now. This is confusing to all my assault droids, but I got utility droids you might find interesting. First of all, why are you having assault droids? That's my bigger question. What don't they? They create and make vehicles repairs for starters. Pretty handy to have in a fight. Small but tough with a surprising amount of firepower. And there's no better code breaker or security system slicer around. Not that I ever condone you doing anything legal, of course. Quotation marks. Oh. I only got two droids left. I rebuild T30, T3, H for 54 credits, and top of the line T3 M4 model with all options when he's not for sale. Tell me about your top of the line T. 
T3 M4. It's gonna be weird saying these droids' names. Bonanakachu. It is the best utility droid built, top notch code breaker, expert security programming, and droid skill repair. They even got firepower to be handy in that. This little guy is absolutely top of the line. It's not for sale. Okay. I welcome all aliens. I love aliens. <laughs> oh, now you're being, now you're being a Jedi now. Uh, maybe later. I'll see you around. Don't forget my store model. If you need joy parts, Jen News. Jen, Janelle Nal. That's gonna be weird saying these Star Wars names. <laughs> Has it? <laughs> God damn it, Joe. <laughs> Make up your mind. Friends and fellow humans, I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. <laughs> my name is Gorton Kolu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. I am speaking of the hideous-looking aliens who walk the world of Taris. The Wookiees and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them! Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti-Alien League. The time has come for action! We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet! First of all, I have never seen a Wookiee or a bit on this planet ever. I don't know where you get those two. <laughs> I don't know which is worse, your ignorance, your hate mongering or endure. The fucking alien league. Back off, you crazy nuke, I don't have time for this. Well, good luck in your crusade. Remain true to the cause, friend. Enlightened humans such as yourself are few and far between. But we shall triumph when the day of reckoning comes. The evil <sighs> walks among us. The enemy is here. We must act now before. Only nut jobs straight, aren't it? Far away, apparently. This in the galaxy is far away. Limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. Okay then. Where can I get papers? Are you gonna give me this? If you were supposed to have them, you'd know where to get them. Now quit wasting <laughs> my time and move along. To the day my foot is <laughs> Move along then. We're gonna need some kind of disguise if we wanna get past this guy. Well, Sithgar, don't I have the deal for you? I have my actual authentication right here. BAM! Another patrol heading down to the lower city. But good luck. I heard Don't you try that down there. There's a big swamp gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. I seriously don't understand what the fuck that was. You don't see me getting dressed in front of you, put on this lame ass armor, and just go BAM! Here here I am! Oh, hey. Hey Reggie, it's another day on the job. Yeah, it's another day on the job, Bill. What the fuck? No problem. Didn't work. Okay, hey. ready. On it. Garth, can you open the door? Damn. On it. Damn. On it. <laughs> can't even Damn. open the door. <laughs> Damn. Uh. Sure. No problem. Didn't work. I don't have a spike for this, do I? Hey, we do that. Fuck. No problem. Didn't work. <sighs> A plague spreads through our streets. We cannot sit idly by while this box infects us. Right, let's go see if she's selling a spike or just buy the uh, droid. Pudu, Tony Rama Napraka Donko search. Oh. Randi e chawa tongbola Johnny Ku Yumawama Nibo Lora Waisha Waga Shichi. Uh computer spikes. No, that's not what we're looking for. Parts, sensor probe, security, environmental shield, stun ray, shield disruptor. Ah uh, no no spikes. Well Lady, I am not a sin. Ba BAM! 
Pachu Apanki, Jishawa, and Nibun Kasha, Jonas, Johnny, Minamamato, Mule Tangabun Shan Om Nang Kin Kuyam Kakin. All right, fine, I'll take the joint. We team and bone rank thong. Hakuji Kapa Randi E. Chawa, Tongbola, Johnny Ku. Right, sounds like shit. What the fuck? Hachu a punky Tangabu Shan King Kun Kui Bona Naka Mucha Shakapa Randi E. Chawa. Thank you for that information. Uh, Journo. Uh, you access the rapid travel from the map on your screen. Yeah, so that's just fast travel. I thought there was a way to... Yeah, there was, but I can't add the droid. And the drape breaks. Okay, never mind, it explodes! Well, that makes bad sense. Randi e Chawa, Tongbola, Johnny Ku, Yumo. Genchopa Chawi, Tichok Twees, Yun Kun, Atuyama Kama, Wuna Henak Neck. Bugra shock, Kunti Chi Wa Um Chava. I thought I took care of the crossfire problem. Kaki and Chana, I don't have to give you a refund. But I don't want to lose a customer here. Tonki Pan, have your fifty credits back. No hard feelings, right? No hard feelings since Darth Breed wants Joe wants me to stop flirting with his wife. That to you. I can't afford to make my customers unhappy. Business is tough as it is, so anything else you need? Uh, you don't have what I need, so that's the sad part. I used all my computer specs. But... No, those were computer specs. I don't Because uh... computer spec does the computer. Repair kit, sensor parts, stun ray, yeah. Door would open on the mechanic. God damn it, game! <laughs> you make it seem like I need to pick the goddamn lock. Makes her nothing but bad, father. So, markers are strong? I don't know how you actually pronounce it. What did you who is the strongest? And then he gets whacked immediately in the face. Oh, I thought the other guy was gonna come in and steal the kill. Sit front, welcome here. Oh, good to know. Are you gonna come running at me? You asked for this! Oh, seriously? Fuck. I actually he was there too. Fuck. Uh. Yes? Oh, 
Alright, uh, pardon me, take this off because it only gives me 12 defense. I don't have that either. God damn it. Um, the furnace in can I? Where was the key, um, key for. Um, medical items was five, right? I don't know if I want to go that way. Credits and a med pack for using my med pack. Nice. Chiwi Aita Kachon Chicha. Don't cause any trouble in the cantina. You leave your problems and your attitude at the door. Okay. So what's in your local cantina? Hi. Not too many people come here to speak to me anymore. Most prefer the fancy surroundings of the upper city. Cantina. But nobody here carries these. Okay, yeah, I'm not interested in Pazak. Goodbye. <laughs> Greetings, stranger. My name. I'm not interested in Pazak either. If you're ever. <laughs> Go away. Hey. We want to talk like that. We just want to say hi, big bad bounty hounder. Carlo. Alright. Mm. Nah, this can't be Carl. No, he's supposed to be tough. This guy ain't nothing but a rot. One. <laughs> what? what do you mean by one? You fun. Can be funny, tough guy? <laughs> you know who we are, Kalo? We are members of the Black Welker Gang. You don't want to get funny with us, tough guy. Two. Three? <laughs> Me no understand. One, two. Why he count? He's trying to count how many of us is against him. <laughs> it's three against one, Carlo. What do you think you can do about those odds? Well, yep, yep, three. Kids, bounty hunter, bounty hunter, a giant hut. I've not seen you before here, human. You are new to the bounty offices, yes? My name is Zex. I am the one in charge here. You love aliens, don't you? You gotta love this, Joe. Are you looking for work? There are many values available here, legal and otherwise. But they all pay quite well. I don't know how a hut is Oh, you're here for information. Everyone knows I'm one of Davik's best agents. I'm the hut with all the answers. <laughs> then, what is the answer to life, my friend? What are we here for? Not officially, no. I work for the bounty office, but Davik pays me to keep my eyes open and report to him, and for me to post his bounties. Davik posts bounties in the government's office? Is that even legal? I used to have to keep our relationship secret, but since the Sith arrived, nobody gives a flying fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and so Davik can do whatever he wants. But enough talk, back to business. This is the bounty office, so we should talk about bounties. Or are you looking for some information? 
tell me about these bounties. There are two government contracts. One on an assassin named Sev, the other, Vedic Starkiller. He's a famous deathmatch duelist. Between them, they killed hundreds of people. Starkiller sounds familiar. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. As long as we don't end up on the list of their victims. But not all bounties are dangerous. Davik got some special contract on one of the girls, Dinya. She attacked Holden, one of Davik's men. Another man from Largo owns Davik money. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. And then there's Mutrik. He used to work for Davik, then he betrayed the exchange, and now Davik wants him dead. I'll put all this information in your data pad. Hmm. Um... So how do I collect these credits for the country? It's simple. You find people, you kill them, you tell me, I pay you. I know everything that's going on on Taurus. So if you kill one of them, I'll know. How do you even know? All the information is in your data pad. Oh. Wrong thing. I need some information. I have information, but it's not free. For free, I tell you everything you want to know about the street game. Devic and other stuff too, but first you have to come up front with a hundred credits. Ah, goddamn. Uh, I'm not getting it. This is the corner where makes it harder in credits, and Devic gets mad when his agents don't bring him in enough. God damn it, the fucking skip has butted. Uh, the part that crashed in the Undercity. The escape pod, you shouldn't bother them. When they crashed, the Black Vulture gang got there first and cleaned them out. Wanda Kubis. If there's anything value inside those crash pods, it's inside the Walker's base. Yeah. Why? You need to get in a shot full of blasters? <laughs> Only the Valk get into the Valkyrie base. Unless, maybe the hidden backs can help you out. You got a problem with the Vox? You go see Ganon. Beck. He's the leader of the Hidden Vex. A rival gang who's smart. Maybe he can help you. Alright, I don't need to know information about the lower gangs so I can get it out. Alright, so we can go find some bounties. But, oh, wait a minute. I probably need to do more level up. Level up even some more. Why are you guys standing out of the door if your base is supposed to be hidden? Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Vulture Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. When they. Oops. <laughs> Maybe a bribe could get me in. <laughs> um... Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulture's or the Sith. Besides, no. it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. So, are you gonna let me in? And by the way, do I look alien to you? I'm perfectly human. <laughs> so far, I haven't seen any of the Vulcans be human. So, um, yeah. Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden Vex are watching you. Ugh. She sounds creepy, lady. <laughs> It's like you're watching my every move. 
Actually, maybe when I go to the bathroom too. Are there even bathrooms in this place? Of course, there is. Hold it right there. Who are you, and what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Valkyrs want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Valkyrs do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar Spy. Vulcar Spy! There, I said it. <laughs> you'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brezhik and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the Lower City. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcars won't listen. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. <laughs> I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pots clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. Huh. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcars aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulcars would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcar base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcar scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. Swoop race? <laughs> what does the race have to do with it? I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcar's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. That doesn't so ensure how do you loyalty. propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race. Uh... But... I don't even have a swoop bike. I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. Alright, what are you proposing, my the friend? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Bex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcars stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. And how am I supposed to get in there in the first place? <laughs> Getting into the Vulcar base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Vale. Mission Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Missions explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. 
If anyone can get inside the Vulcar base, it's her. Okay, where can I find her? She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. I like to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Fine, I trade them in. I don't Good need them. choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I'll be back with that. I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Item received. Item lost. No control. Gone. Didn't work. It's locked. Standard door is open. You guys have a cantina in the back of your base. And there's a cantina right across the street. Uh, a walkway. I'm actually kind of impressed. Security door locked. No problem. Didn't work. God damn it. Uh-huh. On it. Damn! What? Damn it. Yeah, I gotta get my security level up. Yeah. Exploration doesn't hurt. Standard door open. Security door. Right, okay. Oh, but don't explore because I can't open the damn security doors. <laughs> I should probably heal, but I forget there's no heal in this game. Uh, no automatic healing item. Oh, more folks. Um. Fire in the hole! You had a fancy staff, but it didn't work. You guys don't have anything for me to take. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Yeah, let's see what the big crime lord come and get his money from the black walkers. Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, Candice. <laughs> we didn't know you were working with Davik now. <laughs> yeah, we were just goofing around. We don't want no trouble with the Mandalorian. Here's Davik's cut. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorous. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. So what, Davik just lives there? Those Valkers are dumber than a Coruscant granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. <laughs> I don't have time to stick around here anyway. 
Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Okay, yeah, so Davik's that way. I am trying to find my way to get to the Undercity, which I believe is that guy. Because Sith uniform and all. Fire in the hole again! Nothing for me to loot. Oh, hey, got something for me to loot. Thank you, chat. And that is a lot of blast turns. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack ghouls, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Yeah, we'll do. I'm actually going to switch off of this. Because <laughs> if I remember correctly, they do poison damage. And it's not very nice. Although I wish this was like uh, two where I can just have separate... Um, separate weapon slot so I can have one for uh, Melly and one not for Melly. You there, Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us now. <laughs> Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. What? Five credits! Uh... <laughs> We are the outcasts, banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here in the Undercity. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. It's a public elevator. Please have pity on us. We have nothing. All we ask is a few credits to make our lives easier. <laughs> credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. Mm -hmm. My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? <laughs> I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars... It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, Tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil's the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but... Oh God, to make we got a Moses here. Seem less, ...less dark somehow. It's, it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukia. 
He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the promised land. How the fuck does he live to be really just a kind old man. Hey. He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. Alright, I'll be going now. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. Seems like she wants something more than that. But I digress. <laughs> Wait, upworlder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. Uh... The villagers infected with the Rukgore disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into Rukgores, we'll let them destroy each other. Uh, do they even... Do they even destroy each other? That's a very good question. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. Even the serum to counteract the Rakgore disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into Rakgores and attack them at any moment. Okay. I can't help the infected ones. They have to die so that the rest of the village can and live. I don't get enough I accept this. Solution, if you think that makes me a coward, so be it. I can't stop you from going through the gates, Upworlder. But if the infected ones have already transformed into Rutgalls, you'll be walking into your grave. Please, help us. We're infected with the Rutgall disease. At any moment, we could... Uh, no! This cannot be... No! Huh. I hope I can't hit shit in the barn though. Come, my brother. Let us go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry. I'm sure you are. My. Again, the. You. Root. S. It. Oh. I don't know how you actually fight Rackles. <laughs> I just keep my distance. Yeah. You. You come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny, then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder, I beg you. Uh, can I ask you some questions? <laughs> A question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. 
Rukul Wrinklesken, the children call me sometimes. Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. What? What is even the true path? No. No, no, not yet. I must be wary. Careful. You may be a false savior. Dare I share my secrets with you? No. Not until you prove yourself. Okay. My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. God damn it. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. Okay. <laughs> hey, I wish you man. luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. Right, sure thing. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. <laughs> why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. The Rakuls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village, and I will do my best to help you however I can. Alright, so... Gotta head towards the sewers. Deal with some regals. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. They get extra poison damage after all, too. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? What the fuck is this place? You've got credit, <laughs> I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. He sounds like that weasel from what, what is it? Uh, like, anytime you meet a guy with a shady business or something like that. If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters, and the like. Sometimes they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. Why did you sound Irish right after that part there? <laughs> I, I can hear a hint of Irish. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like, they even sell me some... Uh, I can't do Irish accent, damn it. It ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the price is right. <laughs> Goddamn quote. The price is right. Uh. Quarter staff, fire blade, a heavy pistol for seven hundred and fifty. Mm. Frag, awareness, a scope, a melee, Pazak. Um, I will take some of your antidotes, cause God damn it, these ghouls are gonna be annoying. And I shall sell you. 
A vulture stick, I guess. And a long sword. And a viral blade. And I can't sell you anything else, because everything else is fucking cheap as hell. <laughs> Doesn't even sell for money. <laughs> hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The Rakuls are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate! Not while the rat ghouls are so near. Hmm. Do I get XP? Leave the man to die and get dark side points. Huh. Hmm. The issue that I have is that the rat ghouls seem to be very fucking tough opponents early on. Because of the whole poison damage and they do more damage than... Uh, the Vox do, I think. Hmm. hmm. Cause I ain't gonna get anything out of it. Even if I kill them. Although clearing them out may save me some trouble afterwards, so... Hmm. Fuck it! You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Oh, it's only one. Uh, maybe I might be able to handle it. Mm. The issue is that they hit harder than... Does this even... Wait, does that even block actual damage? Uh, energy deflection, so that's a no. Doesn't block that type of damage. Nah, I should probably be doing that. I should probably be quicker. Alright, just power blast. Fuck! Ready? Why are you going for part? Yes? Hey, you mind opening the door for me again? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, before that, level up. Ooh, attributes. Um. Alright, so what do we get? We can get strength, dexterity, which gives strength gives the chance to hit. Adds a modifier for range attacks and increases the character's defense rating. Uh intelligence. Yeah, we'll raise intelligence for skill port skill points and another one into Never run into any mines so far. Um, can't do security, can't do repair. Ah, I hate that all these skill points are like two per each. It's annoying. Uh, just do treat injury and... Um, ooh, I can get this one. Yes, more toughness. Uh, I'll take that. Thank you for saving Hendar. You are braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? Mm, I don't really need it. Goodbye, Upworlder. <laughs> I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hendar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. Oh. 
Are you gonna, are you gonna be like that, Joe, with your wife and... Karth! What? Please move. What? Thank you. <laughs> Alright. There is a soldier over here for some reason? Please, you have to help me! Nobody else is gonna help me, even the Bex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there, he, he's my friend! You'll help me, won't you? Uh, how the fuck did you even know I came out of the place? <laughs> Gadden? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Please, Zalbar's in trouble. He needs our help or they're gonna sell him into slavery. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here oh, in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff <laughs> we could find, just mm. kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rat Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, d I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. Yeah, that That's probably sense. where they took Big Z. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. Mm. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Mission has joined your party. Okay. Um... First off, why would you sell Wookiee into slavery? That that seems that it can have so many wrong uh, things go wrong with it. You there, civilian. This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? No, oh, you have to walk up to me. That security papers. Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? They should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the Rack Ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of Rack Ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. Oh, is that why you're down here? Search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. <laughs> they were in the southern section of the Undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. Hey, I'd never disobey my orders. I'm not a fan of court martials and executions. I was just talking, you know. Nothing anyone has to mention to the commander. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant infested hole. Move out. That was easy. So you're supposed to be searching for a crash escape pod, huh? But you're not really searching for it, are you? Oh, my rag goes. Yeah. Oh, there is four of them over there. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Fire though! I barely did anything. What's in bag number one? Computer spike. Can I even open this? Huh. <sighs> the coolest sifts we have met. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Card? What do you need talking about? We're in an underground city, I mean. <laughs> yes, what's on your mind? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. It's a goddamn necessary. No, no, I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. <laughs> All my secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though you're welcome to try. 
Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people, and, and for what? On the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway, it got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I don't know. Unless you consider that you were a last-minute addition to the crew roster and you just happened to be one of the survivors. No? Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested to transfer aboard happens to survive. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. <laughs> Don't we all hate surprises? I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. <clears throat> Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? <laughs> we'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. All right, fair enough. There's four over there. I'd rather not bother with that. Uh, so where was the entrance of the sewer? That's the fire. Minor frag mine. Oh, hey, some mines. You guys decided to plant mines near a crash site. Help. Help me. Please. I, I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing like some kind of hideous disease. No! No! I can feel it! <sighs> I still don't understand how that works, but I digress. Damn. What? 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 You didn't have anything valuable on him? Was there anything even valuable on the crash site? Uh, not by the looks of it. Hmm. My eyes are getting puffy. Alright, so then we go the other way. It's over here. Bunch of rubble. Right, what I need in my life to search rubble. Parts and 16 moolah. Oh, hey, Candice. <laughs> Candros? I believe this is how it's pronounced. Man. Don't... don't move! I'm... I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Mm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. 
This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Oh, hey, it is a rat ghoul. It's two rat ghouls. Nope. Looks like we've four got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. That'll do. <laughs> I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. Davik sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Davik won't like that. What are you, an off-worlder? Everyone knows Davik. He's a member of the Exchange. You know, the Interstellar Crime Syndicate. Smuggling, gambling, extortion... Davik controls it all here on Taurus. That's why I'm working for him. But lately, the lower city gangs have been giving my boss some trouble. Come on, boys, let's move out. Okay. Uh, more rat ghouls. Even more rat ghouls. Oh, hey, to you two actually bothered to level up. Damn, I am impressed. Although, I'll give you demolition. And I will give you. Toughness, because we all need that. And. Uh, what was range? Range was dexterity, right? Damn, she got five points! Damn. Uh, some security. One under there. And one under the computer usage. Excellent. And then back to me. Karth! Don't you do it! Damn it, Karth. Damn it, Karth. You had one job. Your job was not to run out there. But you did it anyway. Oh. On the apprentice. Yes, I know there is a minor frag over there. Uh, what do you have on you? Money. And some skeleton. Apparently money. How the hell did I get to the sewers again? Uh, map. Escape pod to the sewers. Oh, I passed the entry. And they are mutants, after all. Although I still don't understand why they act sort of like a zombie function. Oh, you're bitten by them. Oh, you become a rat ghoul yourself. Right, let's see what's on the lower sewers. Did I just quick save or just quick load? I don't remember. Got that in a quick little fuck. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Uh. So what was the quick save? But it, goddamn it! 
Behind door number one. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> Grenade! Oh well. Double Q. What's behind this door? Oh. Oh. Okay. Hey, Gamarian. That's your guy supposed to be defending Jabba. Have on me uh, money and another journal. Reactivate the droid for one part. How many parts do I have? 16. Optimize for weaponry, optimize for patrol mode, uh, optimize for weaponry, and targeting system. Engage in patrol mode. Yes, go, my droid. Conquer the world for me. <laughs> I'll be right behind you. No, I'm kidding. I'll just be in front of you. Oh, oh. Well, this is. Um... Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb your guys' shower ses uh, session. Will you assist? Thank you. <laughs> yeah? Yes. The droid is doing its work. <laughs> the trade just goes back. Yeah, I did my job. Mission and Zalbar together forever. <laughs> These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have gotten you out. <laughs> Speak over 700 million languages. AMC 3PO 2.0. 1.1. That's You have saved me from a life of servitude and slavery. There's only one way I can repay such an act. A life death? A life death. You sure about that, Big Think about it carefully. You better be sure about this. 
I'm sure our mission. This is an issue of great importance because of our physical strength. Monkeys are being used as slaves. On our own home. They see us as fruits, animals to be exploited over the years. Slavers are taking many of my people. We must always be on guard against raids against our villages. When the Gamorians catch me, I thought I was doomed to a life of servitude. I've been saved from such a thing. The only way I can repay that is to do like that. Why is the Wookiee speak faster wow. than any other alien? God damn! Do you realize what it means? A life debt is the most solemn vow a Wookiee can make. It means he'll stay by your side for the rest of your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Zalbar will be with you. In the presence of all you, I swear a life debt forever. I am by your side. J. Burrito. <laughs> May my vow be strong with you. <laughs> so, Joe, how do you feel about having a Wookiee behind you every five minutes, watching your every move? I guess this means you're stuck with me, too. Wherever Big C goes, I'm going. I almost lost him once. It's not gonna happen again. This is fucking joy. just keeps it coming in the background. <laughs> so, I guess I still owe you one secret path into the Wookiee <laughs> That was the deal, wasn't it? Don't worry. I know a back to work that's scum again. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I better Should know. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non Volkers on Terrace who can get you past it. I yeah, can't we'll remember exactly in the how to get there, but I know it was somewhere no, here. Three likes the kids, so I don't know how you feel about Over that. to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Ranker monster isn't still there. Uh. There used to be a ranker monster that made its nest in that part of the sewers. Pretty much eats anything it can get its claws on. That thing is huge! Luckily, rankers aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. Okay then, off we go. Well, like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield, and we'll know we're there. You can only have two Marty's party members at a time. The others will wait for you back at the apartment. You can switch party members by using the selection party screen on the map, but this button is disabled in areas that are considered dangerous. Which is pretty much every single place. Left click the response for the party selection again. And I leveled up. Uh, I think I'm fine. Oh wait. You have less than three party members. Okay, damn it. Fine! I'll take the Wookiee! Still have one point, damn it. Hey! Went into demo! And there's for feet. I can get toughness too. I can do more damage with melee weapons. <laughs> um, heavy weapons, blaster rifle, blaster pistol. Can I? No, I cannot remove a feat that has already been there. Um, computer security, damage less death, more of a critical hit. I think I'm gonna go for. It's one bonus to all safe throws. Yeah, I think I'll go for that. Alright, and I must arm the Wookiee. But what? I don't exactly know. Although the Wookiee cannot wear clothes. Although he can do woo. <laughs> That's minus one. Oops. Hey, shoot, you can do more damage with a viral blade. Take the viral blade. Sure. Hope it's no lucky. problem. Didn't work. Fight! <laughs> I shall break the door. Uh. Okay. Yeah? Mission, do me a favor. Breaking the door did not work. 
simple. A Bazek card and a bowcaster. Yeah, my friend, how much do you do with that? 10, but you get a plus 5 chance to hit. Compared to a viral blade, which you get a chance 9 to hit. And as for moi, if I use said bowcaster, I get a 6 chance to hit instead of 5. Uh, like that. What? Gotcha. Alright, what's behind this door? Oh! Yeah, it's a door that's malfunctioning. Keep on going this way. And uh, more wrinkles. Actually, disengage that order. Oh, uh, wait. Disengage that order, too. I think they're immune to poison. Uh. The regular. I guess not. <clears throat> oh! Um. Yeah, how you doing? Ow. And. Go that way. What about right here? Yeah, sure do like the serene waterfall of sewer water. I wish I was. Sure. Hey, met back for met back. Much of a game though, I already used two. Okay, so that's the path we need to go. I'm going in the opposite direction. Yeah, that's 
Yep. For a minute there, I thought there was something blocking my path, but there wasn't. Uh. Really, guys? Really? Okay, that's. That was. That was just uncalled for, guys. Although they seem to be stuck in idle animation. <laughs> Corpse, another journal of the promised land. Uh, computer spikes. Now, what's behind this door? Like a morning was KO. Is all huddled around one corpse. We just had a pet back in it. Hey, a ladder. I wonder where it leads. Oh, that's not convenient. Oh, you two leveled up. This is time for I cheat the system. Right, but she needs more. She needs more health and more power, but we can't do that right now. Minus one to intelligence. I wonder why people call them boots. Eh? Although you're gonna be a smart wookie, you know how to use computers. Um, you also need that. So. So that leads topside to a Sith patrol that was in the south. We got instantly wrecked. What's it even here? Search for Bessela. You have acquired a sample of Ragusia. This could be valuable to the right people. What am I gonna even do it? And more parts and credits. And we're back topside, right? Yep, we're back topside. And I can go back down either way. <laughs> Looks like there was an icon to pick up on items from the trooper. Eleven medkits. Remember, you can use the rapid transient button to return on the base whenever you want. While in the apartment complex, press that button. Or transport you back to that location. Go to your map and do the same exact thing. Right, but I... I... Need things to do in the lower city. Or the undercity, I guess. I need to talk to the crazy old man. Greetings once more, Upworlder. Do you bring news of my apprentice? Have you discovered her fate and proved yourself to be a true savior of my people? Yes, your apprentice is dead. It is as I feared, then. She joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. 
By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. Mm -hmm. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You will guide us to the promised land. Uh... Okay? You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rukil knows you better than you know yourself. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity, cast down into the darkness. I know the legends and history of our people, and now you must learn it too. Eh, uh, fine. I'm always a lower type of guy anyway. The great city of Taris covers the entire surface of this planet. There is no land to grow food. Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food source. A century ago, Jeez. rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans and famine swept the planet. The rich hoarded food for their own use and the poor were left to starve and die. But the poor rose up against this tyranny and civil war engulfed the planet. Millions died in the fighting, and huge sections of Taurus were destroyed or abandoned. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands were taken prisoner. The jails could not hold them all, and so the practice of banishing all prisoners to the Undercity was born. Huh. <laughs> okay. So, glorious people decided to make a revolution. The revolution did not succeed. That. Many yeah. brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the rebellion. People like my father and grandfather were cast down along with their families. What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make more room in the upper city. Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace. A life devoid of all hope but one. The Promised Land. And you will be the one to show us the way to get there. What is even the promised land, Mr. Moses? Legends tell of a self-sufficient colony founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A paradise beneath the Undercity where droid servants tend to every need. For many years, I searched for the promised land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. When I became old and gray, my apprentice continued the search on my behalf. I have collected many clues hinting at its location. The journal of my apprentice provides yet more information. But still, there are too many pieces missing from this puzzle. But I know my father and grandfather each had journals where they recorded their own discoveries. Perhaps with their journals, I could at last uncover its hidden location. How convenient for you, I have all three journals in one go. <laughs> could it be true? Is it possible that at long last, the dream of my father and grandfather before him will be fulfilled? I can hardly bear to look. Hmm. Yes, yes, of course. Now I understand. It all makes sense. Now I see why the promised land has been so hard to find. What? It is so obvious. You have done a great thing, Upworlder. A selfless act that will bring great joy to all the people of this village. I must take this to Gendar right away. Frukil, what do you want now? Have you more fables of a hidden paradise just waiting for us to find it? You may not think these are fables after you see what I have brought you, Gendar. Look at these journals! What? No, it can't be. Are these real, Rukil? Is this information accurate? I swear to you, everything in these journals is true, Gendar. The Promised Land. I told you I would find it. The entrance is far from here, Rukil. It will take us weeks to get there, perhaps even months. And we will have to cross many Rakul infested areas. I do not deny the journey will be hard, Gendar. But surely it is better than the miserable life we have here. Wise words, Rukil. Our supplies are high right now. We could leave by nightfall. I will tell the others to prepare for the journey. Thank you once again, uh Upworlder. I will say a final goodbye. For where we are going, I fear you cannot come. Why? 
The journey to the Promised Land is long and arduous. No, Upworlder, I cannot ask that. The journey will take many, many weeks. And those who make the journey cannot return. Why? That was the final secret of the Promised Land. When the colony was created, it was designed so that people could enter willingly, but they could never oh. leave again. This was to ensure secrecy on the project. We must part ways here, Upworlder. I sense your destiny is yet to be chosen. But the destiny of my people is at the end of the long journey ahead of us. And everybody leaves and they all die. Apparently that gave me a light side point. I don't know how I want to get a dark side point from that. Some of these choices don't make sense to me. Okay, but whatever. Hmm. Okay. And now it's just a ghost town. <laughs> well, that's... Oh. We take you to the promised land. Okay. Even the crazy Irish man is gone too. Fine. Well, return instantly will transport you back to your base, and your entire party will be healed. This function is disabled in most action in most actions and combat areas. I want to go back home. This is not technically where I am. Home. Never check no that problem. what's in here. Got it. A yeah, foot lacquer. Funny in a med pack. Yay. Nothing of value on here. And we were just there. Go back to the upper city because I need to get more meds. Uh. Okay, not again. Hey there, what can I do for you? <laughs> really? You want to know about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? Darth, I never realized you were actually a pedophile. It's amazing. Big Z's my family, you know? My parents, well, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were But even then, the Bulkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. Anyway, I don't like the Volkers at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost <laughs> it. I screamed out, leave him alone, you poor slimes, <laughs> and charged right at them. One of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Hey, I don't need a lecture from you. You ain't my mother. I knew what I was doing. Those Damn, she actually me. called you They're nothing but other. cowards. Damn. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. Are you kidding? Big Z ain't like that. He's just a big old softy inside. Of course, the Volkers didn't know that. The other two screamed and ran off. I can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so scared, he fainted. <laughs> or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. <laughs> Sorry, 
Dalbar, but I keep telling you to brush those choppers once in a while. Why do you think I won't stand downwind when you're talking? Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashi. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. Doesn't much matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not what hey, he Chase. was. Hey, Chase. Zalbar like to live in the present. I'm doing fine. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You think I can't take care of myself? I've got street smarts. I know how to get by on my own. In fact, I look out for Zalbar more than he looks out for me, you know? Big Z is a little bit too gullible to make it alone on the mean streets of the lower city. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother, fast talk and slick words don't get the job done. My brother is a touchy subject, you know. It just so happens I don't really feel like talking about him right now. It's nothing personal. Let's just get back to the business plan, okay? Okay. Yep. Oh, wait. She's about that life, you know. <laughs> just gotta go ahead. Back to the med station. I think there was a med station somewhere. Else. Mission, can you run a little faster? Thank you. <clears throat> what are these? Arena monitor. There is no action in the dual ring net now, so the monitor's gone. Pouring it in here. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gerlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gerlon Tufinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan. Nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Gerlon Poofinger. That, that was a very interesting fight. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring? Or did you just come to watch? What? Why are you here if you don't even know what the dueling ring is? I don't have time to answer your questions. I need to stay focused for my next match. Maybe Azure can help you out. He's the hut over there in the corner. He arranges all the duels. Of course, it has to be a goddamn hut. Uh, actually, this person that I was searching for a bounty was supposed to be here. But I'm Lego Bounty Hunter May. Metric so fun. We'll have to go looking around town for a bit. Alright. I'm sorry, man. The better window is closed. No more fights right there. People are sick of seeing the same duelers all the time. It's bad for us. 
My name is Ernie. I organize all the dudes who we need when we're facing this thing. Maybe you want to step into the ring? It can be a highly profitable adventure. What's in it for me? I can arrange you to fight in the dual ring. If you win, you get the standard contract of 10% of all weapons. And don't worry, nobody dies in the ring. The matches are illegal now. Oh, I thought the Sith would have reinstated them. Most fighters in the dual ring use viral blades or stun sticks because the ring's pretty small, but a few do this because it's used Whatever you whatever you prefer. The dual ring has an energy suppressor field to make sure nobody dies. Weapons are limited so they hurt, but don't kill. And we got medic droids just in case of serious injuries. Oh, that's nice. Although I'm curious how the fuck they get that fight anyway. Oh good, new blood for the ring. But you need a nickname. Like Ice? Dead Eye or Truth. Good name? What's a good name for you? I don't know, do I get a good name? You're not bored when you're here for the record. I know. From now on in the dual ring, you'll be the mysterious stranger. That is a terrible name. The Mysterious Stranger, I like it. That's a terrible name. Her name is Chief Burrito. I think that sounds like a better nickname. <laughs> no, let's stick with the Mysterious Stranger. You got no pets, no history. It makes sense. Seems like some big dark secret. Like that. The people bet. Ready for the dual run now? Step in the ring, right? I'll set you up against Dead Eye Duncan. I'll tell you the rules. I'm ready for a duel. Yes, you fight and people bet and make money. Okay, only one rule. Nobody dies. When it goes down, you don't finish him off. We knew at this, so you start off easy. You gotta fight dead eye dunk. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night. <laughs> but this time, Why is he still here then? Fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Dead Eye Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past. And no name, the mysterious stranger. Okay, so now I can fight. Although I can throw grenades at him, um, I don't know if that will kill him. <laughs> and he's dead a bit. That was fast. It's over. The fight is over. The mysterious stranger has won. But we. Are any of us surprised? Dead Eye losing, is it you? You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger. Experience points of 55. Happy oh, lost again. Set me up in another match, boss. The viewers demand blood, or close enough. Yeah, 
you want so you get 10 percent of the deal here's your credits come to see me again if you want to fight 100 credits was a 10 10 percent is 100 credits Sly little uh, I'll do it. I'll get up in his face and smack him so hard. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlang Two Fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taras dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger. Alright, so we're gonna fight now, but I'm gonna do that first, and then... I'm gonna I'm punch you in the face! Ah! Oh! It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Gerlon losing to a rookie! Is this a sign that his injuries have finally caught up with him? Or is the mysterious stranger for real? Only time will tell! I mean, he's missing two fingers after all. Any experience for that? Ooh, nice. I don't need to heal up again because this game has. Every game seems to have an issue with that intelligence. Yeah, nice. That's better. 200 credits. Alright, let's see who's up next. Let's see if I win or lose this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, a rising star. Yeah, we know that part. <laughs> Look at that, I make win this But I pulled it out of my ass because I cheated. <laughs> Can you hit something, please? It's over. The fight is over. The mysterious stranger has won. Ice is knocked out cold. Looks like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger, folks. But how high can this star soar? You'll just have to watch and see. I don't think I have it in me anymore to go into the next fight. The last one's pretty ridiculous. And if I have XP, not bad. Need 150 to level up. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, 300 bucks. 
and I am out of here because I can't handle that next fight. <laughs> the last fight was any indication of how I was going to go. Oh. Very interesting. We'll handle him later. Now I should probably get more meds. We have eight. something about your breath. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, but it's bad. Worse than usual, which is hard to believe. In fact, now that I think about it, your breath has been pretty rancid ever since we rescued you from those Gamorian slavers. What'd they feed you, buddy? When they did it, I was a guest. Oh, Zalbar, that's terrible. I know how grouchy you get if you don't get your eight square meals a day. I'm amazed you didn't pass out from hunger. I did manage to take a clunk out of one of the arms for the guards. Ooh. I don't want to know a Gamorian taste. Ew. No wonder your breath is so bad, Big Z. Gamorians smell like bantha voodoo. We'll have to pick you up a toothbrush to clean that stench out of your choppers. <laughs> don't brush teeth. <laughs> This is supposed to be what you want from Dark <laughs> Okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. Now take care of it. <laughs> it's probably his ancestor more than his brother. Uh. Medical facility. Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk to Zelka if you need something. Okay, fine, jeez. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I will not have it said that Zelka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. And the terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. You have the serum? Possible? How did you get this? No, it, wait. It, I don't really want to know. Can, can I see it? The serum, I mean. I need to see if there is enough for me to analyze it, so I can start producing it in mass quantities. I'm not a wealthy man. All I can offer is a handful of credits and a few extra med packs. Hmm. Let me see. Yes, this is it. A cure for the rat ghoul disease. With this sample, I can make enough serum for everyone. The people of Terrace owe you a debt they can never repay. Please, take this small reward. It isn't much, but it's all I can afford. A few credits and two spare med packs. Two med packs is fine. I appreciate everything you've done. There are many who would have sold more important to the credits. Crime Lord Davik for a much higher sum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Of course. Just step over here and I'll show you what I have in stock. My prices are very reasonable. Just what I need to keep this facility operating. Hey, what do you have for me? Advanced med packs. 80 a piece. Uh, I'll take some antidotes. I'll take some med packs. Some advance and... Red cool serum. This is green, but filled with liquid. Aye, that makes sense. Now I have 
to get back down to the bottom. Damn it. Uh, anywho, I think I am going to stop here for today, and we will probably pick this up um, Monday, maybe after I get out of uh, class, but I don't know. We'll see what happens Monday. If it's not Monday, then it'll be on Tuesday. So, I bet you guys a farewell, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. Adios.